Ah, dear friends, we move on to some of the most eagerly awaited awards of the evening, the main acting prizes. Up first, the BAFTA for Actor. To present the award, someone who is elegant, classy, sophisticated, a sort of female version of myself, please welcome, and we're privileged to have her, Joanna Lumley. <laughs> I'm delighted to have been invited to give the BAFTA for Best Actor. I love awarding prizes that I couldn't possibly win myself. <laughs> this year, these four men have really stretched themselves to give some of the most mesmerising performances ever seen on British television. Four men now sweating to know which one will get his hands on something that only I have got. <laughs> Let's have a look at the testing roles taken on by this year's nominees in the Best Actor category. Matthew McFadden, Secret Life. That's the that's the problem, isn't it? That first bit, sex offender. You know, if you could just take that out, you might be able to just see past it. You know, for a second to the human being. You may even like me. Andrew Garfield, Boy A. They, they said I could, I could choose my own name. Any name. You got one? I can't. I can't make up my mind. I didn't ask me what's in the bag. <laughs> what's in the bag? Anthony Shaw. Primo. Hell must be like this. A big, empty room. A tap which drips, but you can't drink from it. Us, tired, standing, waiting for something to happen, which will certainly be terrible. Tom Hardy, Stuart, a life backwards. Oh! Ah, you, you've got to make it more exciting. Do it backwards, like a murder mystery. Like a bestseller. You know what I wrote? Like what Tom Clancy writes. Yeah, how do I get to be like this? What murdered the little boy I was? And the BAFTA goes to Andrew Garfield. <laughs> Sure, because you can take it back if you seriously. Because okay, fine, I'll take it, I'll keep it, I'll put it on my mantle. Thank you, Jesus Christ. <laughs> okay, I'm just gonna breathe a little bit and enjoy this, try and enjoy this at least. Um, yeah, thank you very much, BAFTA. Um, yeah, so yeah, let's thank people. Let's thank, um, first and foremost, my family, um, my mum, my dad, my brother, um, my girlfriend. Oh, yes, Jonathan Trigel, whose, whose imagination, um, created this wonderful, um, Heartbreaking tale, um, and and um, and Mako Rowe for who, who adapted it wonderfully, um, and also uh, people people who responded so well to it, and it's it's it was really reassuring actually, um, that that people didn't shy away and, and weren't weren't too kind of um, scared by the subject matter, and it was it's nice that people are open-minded still, and it was just really reassuring. Um, so yeah, I think <laughs> I think that's it. So thank you, thank you. Very well done.